there are so many organizing options in Gmail, it can sometimes be hard to keep track of them. One option that works great for a lot of people is the Gmail labels. And did you know that you can color code those as well? If you're not familiar with that, you'll want to watch this video as I talk about color coding with labels in Gmail today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to explain to you how to do color coding with your labels in Gmail. So if you're someone who is motivated by color, I know I am, you might want to give your different labels in Gmail different colors. If you're not familiar with how to use labels or what labels are in Gmail, there's a whole video on that and there's a link above me now. So once you're comfortable with what labels are, then I'll show you how to color code those today. And the reason that you might do this is so that at a glance in your inbox, you could see different labels on different things and they would stand out to you. So for instance, if you need something from your boss to show up in a bright color, you could make every email coming from your boss a red label. Or perhaps you are a part of many different projects and you want to be able to see at a glance which emails are from that project so you can drill down really fast into what you're looking for. There are a lot of different reasons that you might use color coding with labels, so let's look at how to do that. First of all, you can see there are already a couple of color coded labels right here. So the display plan. So this is what I'm talking about when I talk about the different labels. And you can see these other emails have additional labels as well. So you can have multiple labels. Again, that's in that other video. And then now we'll talk about how do you color code those. So let's take this email, for example. I can check this box and then I can add a label to it here but what if I want that label to show as a specific color? I would take a step back and I would go down here on the bottom left to see all of my labels. And you may have a big long list, so you may need to use your scroll bar to see all of them. But these labels on the left-hand side are all ones that you can color code. If you hover over one of the labels, you can click on the three dots next to it, and there you can set your label color. And what this is showing you is the text color plus the background color. You can also add custom colors. And then if you don't want a color at all, it will show up as gray as you can see these. And then you can remove the color in that instance. So let's say this Google email, I want to have Google emails be my label and I want those to show up as yellow. I can choose that. You can see the color of the label changes. And then as soon as I go here and I add that label, we'll go find that, Google emails, I can apply it and boom, it shows right there. Now, always remember when you're inside the label folder, as I like to call it, when you're going and automatically searching for all the labels that are Google emails, when you click on this, you won't see those labels because you're already in that label. So it's assumed that everything in the Google emails label folder, if you will, is already labeled as the Google emails. So for instance, if I go in here, yes, I can see that that's labeled as Google emails. I just don't see that here because I'm already in that space. Now, if something has multiple labels, as it's a little bit clearer here, you can see these have multiple other labels. If I go in here, I can see they have the Google emails, which is color coded, and the other two, which are not. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more videos? If so, you can click the subscribe button that's below this video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell icon, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. So we'll go in and turn another one a specific color. We go to this one and we make it red. This can be like the instance that I gave at the beginning where if your emails from your boss need to be in red, you can do it this way. And now if I scroll down, anything that I marked with Gateway Productivity is all marked in that red. 
Now, if you would like to automatically have Gmail assign a color when an email comes in, you can use your filters for this. There is a whole video on using filters, so I re would recommend looking at that. I'm going to just very briefly show you this. If I want every email that comes from, let's just use something a little different. If I want every email that comes from Asana to automatically show up with the Asana label, which I don't have yet, so I'll build that as a part of this, I can go up here, filter messages like these. It sees updates at info.asana.com as being the email address that it's coming from, so I'll just use that create the filter, and in this case, I want it to automatically apply a label. And I don't have an Asana label yet, so I can create that. And I'll just have that at the main level. And I can have it go ahead and apply to the email that's in the inbox right now. So I can create that filter, and it may take it a second. If we go back to our inbox, now we can see that that label has been applied, and then you can go in and color code that label after you create it. So let's say I want that to be purple, and now all of these, when they come in, will automatically be assigned this Asana label, which is now purple. So you can see, once you would get these set up, you could have everything color coded within your email very quickly if you automatically color code these from certain people. I know that this is something where my husband didn't quite grasp it when he first started using Gmail, but now he uses that heavily and he tends to not file things away as often and he'll just scroll through here. He can see his labels automatically. They're all color coded, makes it much easier for him to find exactly what he's looking for. Hopefully this information will help you organize your Gmail just a little bit more. And for those of you like me who love color, it makes it that much more exciting to get into your inbox. If you still feel like you need some more help with this or any other tech challenge, you can schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me now, or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com and click on the Let's Talk button to schedule your time. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.